Hello everyone, I'm going to talk about my experience potty training my pup April here. She's about 10 months old and I've had her since June. And before getting her, I did some research and I specifically looked into potty training because I've never had a dog before. So, and everyone has different opinions and everything. So I had to sift through and pick what was right for me and my pup. To make sure I don't leave any details out, I've got a list here on my phone that I'm gonna be looking at. One mistake I made was that I went into potty training with too high of expectations. My thought process was I'm gonna take her out so much that she won't ever have any accidents. So I soon realized that I was hugely mistaken. Just because I took her outside didn't mean that she actually would go. So we had plenty of accidents on our journey. So I also, I didn't start out with having pee pads because of my high confidence that we wouldn't have any accidents. And so when we finally got some, I didn't train her to go on them. They were just kind of there to catch some of the accidents because she didn't always make it on there. Something that was good in the long run was to pick a certain area as the potty area and pick a word or a phrase to say every time she goes. So as soon as I would see her squat outside, I would say, go pee. And then I would say, good girl, good pee. <laughs> you hear me saying good girl? <laughs> And I give her a treat right away. And then when I saw her go poo, it's the same kind of deal, except I'll say, go poo, as she's um, getting ready to go. So saying the commands while she's doing them helps them, her associate them together. So if I have her outside and she's not going, then I can say, go pee, and then she understands what I want her to do. And if she's already peed and I say, go poo, then she understands, okay, I need to do some more out here. Eventually, she didn't even want to treat after she went potty. It was reward enough to relieve herself. After working on the potty commands and teaching her it's good to potty in a certain spot outside, I started working on teaching her how to tell me when she needed to go outside. So to call her attention to the door she needs to go to to tell me she needs to go out, I started taking her paw and scratching it on the door. I'm basically with her most of the time, so she knows now she doesn't have to make a sound or scratch at the door. She just purposely walks over to the door and looks at it, looks back at me um, to tell me that she needs to go out. And the hall is wood flooring, so I can normally hear the little clickety clackety of her nails if I'm not in the same room as her, so I can hear her walking down to let me know that she needs to go out. And there have been a few times where I didn't hear her walk down the hallway and she came to get me, which made me feel so happy because that told me she's starting to get it. She's starting to um, master it. And she'd come over to me, make eye contact, and walk straight back to the door. And one time she wasn't able to get my attention silently, so she started whining at the door to get me to come take her out. And lots of the time she doesn't even need to tell me that she needs to go because I'll just see that it's been a while. I'll just take her out on my own without her having to tell me. But she's definitely understanding now that she's supposed to go outside and potty and she's supposed to let me know if I haven't taken her and she needs to go. She's doing really good, but she still had a couple of accidents where she didn't tell me and I hadn't taken her in a while, I guess. So I'd say she's about 93% potty trained. It's definitely been stressful, but I'm so proud of how far she's come. I'm so glad I can just let her go around the house now without having to worry so much about an accident all happening all the time. That's our potty training journey so far.